So I recently reinstalled Valorant and Surfs are coming to South Africa, and unfortunately when I rebooted my PC, my keyboard was no longer working. This issue has been plaguing the Valorant community for many years. My video from three years ago got 200,000 views. This video is going to show you most of the same methods, but in that video I failed to show you how to type things when you don't have a keyboard available. Hopefully you found this video on your phone or somewhere else and you're able to navigate back to it so you can find this link in the description here. We'll want to do this on our PC so we can open this Reddit thread. Essentially, the easiest step to fix this is to check our registry and make sure that, scrolling down here from the Facet team, these two registry keys have the correct things set in them. And on top of this, if this still doesn't work, scrolling up to the top of this Reddit post, we're guided to download Interception, which is a mouse and keyboard driver, which is compatible with anti-cheats or something along those lines. And by either uninstalling it or reinstalling it, we should be able to fix this issue. Okay, so to navigate to this video, you can send it to yourself and click it. Or if you need to type, what you want to do is hit start, go into the folders section, and we'll scroll down until we can see accessibility. Inside of accessibility, you should see on-screen keyboard. Click on this, and you're now able to type by pulling up this window here. Click into whatever window you want, whatever section, and and start typing and your on-screen keyboard will function as your normal keyboard. The same goes for Control V and Control C to copy and paste, etc, etc. Okay, so now that we're able to type, let's start off with the simplest solution that doesn't require downloading anything. In this Reddit post, which you'll find down below, scrolling down to the Face It team, they left these two registry keys commented. What we'll want to do is select the entirety of the first one here, right click and choose copy. Now we'll hold start and press R and inside of this window, We'll type R-E-G-E-D-I-T as such. Hit enter and the registry editor should open. What we'll want to do is select all of the text at the very top, right click and choose paste, then hit enter. This will navigate us directly into this folder, which is HKEY local machine, system, current control set, control class, and scrolling all the way down, etc, etc. Inside of this first link, you'll find an upper filters bit of text. What we'll want to do is double click this and make sure that the very last line is set to KBD class as such. You can find it here to copy and paste. So copy KBD class as such, paste it in at the very end and add a new line. Click OK. And if you get an error about spaces, simply just click OK. Then we'll copy the next link here, which is the mouse class, copy, registry editor, select everything, paste, enter. And now we should see upper filters once more. This time we need to make sure it ends with MOU class, which once again, you can copy from here. They have these two options reversed in their comments down here, which is a bit confusing, but essentially this first link points to this second registry key and this first to the second. So essentially the first First one here is KBD class, the next one is MOU class. So I'm copying mass class and pasting it in as the very last line here. Add a new line. Okay, now when you restart your PC, your mouse and keyboard should hopefully be working. But let's assume that they're not, like they weren't for me. What we need to do is scroll up to the top of this Reddit post where we find this link. Click on it to download this file. We'll save it and we'll open the zip. Now what we'll do is we'll take it and place it somewhere like on our desktop. Then we can open up the folder that we've just extracted. We should find a whole bunch of stuff, navigate into command line installer, and we'll see this here. Simply click at the very top, right click and choose copy. Now we need to open a terminal or command prompt as admin. So hit start or click start, then type in T-E-R-M for terminal if you're on Windows 11, otherwise CMD. Right click terminal or command prompt and choose run as administrator. Now inside of him, we'll type in CD space shift to input double quotes. As such, we'll right click to paste the link that we just copied and shift double quotes once more. Hit enter and we should now be inside of the command line folder. If I use DIR just to show you what's here, we have install interception dot exe. What we'll do is we'll type in I and hit tab. This should auto complete install interception, which is in the folder. Hit space followed by forward slash uninstall. Now at this point, if you hit enter and you see something about wasn't able to uninstall 
install, simply hit backspace a few times and type install as such. Now, when you hit enter, interception should be installed. All you need to do is reboot your PC. So essentially, we're either making sure that this is installed or isn't installed. Whichever way around it is for you currently, or your mouse and keyboard isn't working, it's the wrong way. So if it's not installed, we're installing it, rebooting our PC, and we should regain access of our mouse and keyboard. If it is installed, what we need to do is uninstall it, and we should once again get access to our keyboard. That being said, on the post, they only mention uninstalling, but uninstalling didn't work for me. Only installing worked for me. Anyways, at this point, everything should be working once more as it's supposed to be. And that's really it. Compared to my previous video from three years ago, this issue is still relevant, which is sad, but I finally got the issue for myself so I could do a full guide on how to actually solve it as well. I had to type without having a keyboard, which is pretty funny because I simply just told you, I'll just press the keys and type things in. Obviously you can't do that. Your keyboard isn't working. So hopefully you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.